Hi guys, welcome to part 14 of Angular tutorial series for absolute beginners by Tech Tech Tips in 2019. Friends, in today's video tutorial, we will create we will be creating a mini project named to do app with one component named to do component. So without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial. So before starting this video tutorial, I would like to say thank you very much for subscri subscribing to our channel and become a family member of Tech Tech Tours. And we have completed 100 subscribers. That is a lot for me. And thank you once again. Thank you very much for being a subscriber of Tech Tech Tours and for liking the videos and sharing them as well. So let's get to the tutorial. So as I mentioned in my introduction that in today's video tutorial, we will be creating a mini project called to do app. So actually we will implement whatever we have learned in from last over 13 video tutorials. So I have opened my project localhost 4200 here and this was the last video tutorial of directives. So I will create a new component and I have opened my ng8 app in VS code. And on the built-in terminal of VS Code, I will write ng generate to do task. Sorry, ng generate component. So ng generate component to do task. And it will create a new components inside our app folder. So go to src and then in the app folder, we will have a to-do task. So simply I will add this component in my app component.html file. And here I will add it app to do task and to verify it we can see in the app uh, to do task dot component that app dash to do dash task is over selected so after this you will see to do task works is added here so inside the html file i will create a div and inside this div i will create a new input type text and i will name it name and id you can give it anything because i'm not going to style it so after that, I will use a hash name to name this input as the Angular will understand that what kind of properties we can access within the Angular environment. So the next button is input uh, button. So with this input type button value is add to do task. And same thing goes, we can name it as we like. So we can call it submit. And this is it. We have created over form. So on this screen, uh, I think, uh, yes, this one is extra added. So here we have a but, uh, input box and here we have a add to do task. So in the next, we will create a new div. And in, the, in this div, we create a UL and inside UL, we will create ng for loop. And I'm sure you have learned in my Direct, where we have described the built-in directives, you have learned about ng4 from there. So ng4 will loop through from a group of arrays or array of, of objects or arrays. So I will create here in the to-do task component an array named tasks. And in the start, sorry, is it will be empty. So it will be an empty array. Make sure to make it empty array. After that, inside div, I will say ng if is equal to uh, tasks dot length is less than equal to zero so it means if the task that length is equal to is, is less than equal to zero if it's true then this will not be shown uh, sorry greater than equal to zero I must say greater than equal to zero or greater than zero then uh, this will be shown and here in, in below I will create an h2 element and inside h2 element I will put ng if is equal to tasks dot length is less than or equal to zero then no tasks found so this message will be shown if the task length is equal to zero means there is no tasks so I will save it and when I go to the browser it shows me no tasks found Let's make it a little bit small with H4. Uh, now it's better, now no tasks found. So of course I will add here tasks of, uh, sorry, task of tasks. And then I will here say the task dot name, whatever the name of the task. And then I will add here an input uh, button. Let me add it here. And this button will say X. So it means it will be 
help us to remove the element so next in the in this video to in, in in the next step what we need to do we need to add two functions so in the to do task dot component dot ts file i will create two functions one is add task and then we will pass it here a task object and inside this task object i will simply do this dot tasks dot push and here i will push an object in name and task dot value it will pass us the task object in as an input uh, tag and then we can take it as a task its value and push it to the tasks array so then i will do task dot value is equal to empty and then we can do task dot focus so what this will do task dot value will make the value of this input element empty and then task dot focus function will set the focus and the cursor will get back to the text input and that's it that's that's how we can add the task then if we talk about the deleting the task we will pass again the task to the this del function and the first thing we need to find the index of that that, that task so i will say const index is equal to this dot task task dot index of and then i will pass it task so what it will do it will find the index and then i can use this dot tasks dot splice and inside this i will first pass the index and then the one so it means from starting from this index remove this many objects so only remove one object which we have selected if you add check boxes you can add multiple and you can remove multiple uh, tasks as well but this is not the scope of this tutorial so this is simple add task delete task so in the html part we will just add click event and then i will say add task and here we will use the name so whatever name we have given with the hash name we pass it and then it will be passed as an input element to the add task function and then we take the value from it and save it as a name and after that we, it will be displayed automatically here and then in the x we will add sorry i missed the k here save it so click is equal to del task and then again i will pass it a task so current task will be passed to this function del task as well so this is how we have created our small tutorial let's see it how does it work practically so i think there is some sort of error because it's not showing so let's see what is that error in the console so it says cannot bind ng for since it is known property of li li so it is not known task of tasks why is it saying template parser cannot bind to ng for since it is not known property of li div ng if task dot length is greater than zero ng for is equal to oh sorry so we have to create a new variable here let task and now it is okay because i have not added a let keyword to didn't create a new variable so that's why it was giving this error so make sure you have added let task so now if you see there is no task found so add one added task one i will name it added task one then when i click add to do task button it will be added inside the list and then added task two again and then added task three then fourth and you can see it is automatically removing the value after clicking the add to task add to do task button and then setting the focus to that input element same thing now if i want to remove any of these elements suppose i don't want to see or let me see i don't want to see this add task too so i will simply click this cross button and you see it is removed and then i can also remove this one i can remove i can remove so i can add as many tasks as why i want so here i can say task one edit and click it so i can remove it and i can add as many tasks as i want i can remove each and every element every task from the list as well as it's got completed so with that our tutorial is also gets completed and i'm sure you liked this video tutorial if you did please do consider and press the like button 
and if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel tech tech tools then please do consider and subscribe to it and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will get notified as soon as we upload new videos so guys thank you very much take care and goodbye